Now we're at the University of Huddersfield today to engage with NGOs, local authorities and academics about the Race Disparity Units audit which is looking at over 200 different policy outcomes and their impact on citizens based on their ethnicity um, and it's allowing the government to actually do something that the world has never done before and it's using data to drive better policy outcomes. It's given an evidence base for academics, local authorities, MPs and citizens to use to improve policy outcomes to increase life chances for citizens across the country. Today we're hoping to hear from the NGOs, the local authorities and the academics what they think the website looks like and what they think the government should be doing with this data and the website going forward and what they expect to use um, in terms of the website. Are they going to use it to fund their research? Are they going to use it to help increase their awareness of local authorities and the evidence that they have available to them? So it's for us to actually look outwards and ask them for their views but for them to actually look inwards towards our website as well and how it might help them in the future. If we use data and intelligence more effectively, we'll know where problems are, uh, where the communities are uh, that need most help, and we'll be able to target our resources more effectively. I think it will enable partnership working, but there needs to be a commitment to using data and intelligence to inform the decisions we make about what we commission, what we provide, and, and to whom. Um, so it's about the effective use of that data intelligence. I hope um, that it will be used sensibly, um, but um, I'm unclear about what will happen next from today, and I look forward to hearing a little bit more um, um, when it's launched. I look forward to looking at and having an early view of the um, information in a little bit more detail. So I think that will give us a bit better idea of how we can use it as a local authority and how we can use it as a partner to enable us to be able to commission to outcomes better um, for the area and across um, West Yorkshire and possibly um, more widely. I thought it was a very informative session um, and I was very pleased to be brought up to date with the initiative that the Prime Minister announced um, when she took up office which suggests she's not only playing um, lip service to issues around race equality, but she's actually doing something about a perennial problem of racial injustice that is in this country. Inequalities have been made evident through major studies. The successive governments have known that ethnic minorities are disadvantaged, they um, experience extreme racism, institutionalized racism, um, and um, they've done nothing about it. No uh, cultural change has ever been effected. In the past, it's always been what we feel, what we know, what we've experienced, which sometimes the individuals that hold those funding strings um, haven't felt it, haven't experienced it, and don't understand it. The data speaks for itself now. It gives us that, that angle to be able to go to the local authority and say, right, these are the areas that are lacking, and here is a particular project that should be able to address those particular areas. While the data is not really necessarily surprising because it's how British society has been for a number of decades, what I've heard across today is a lot of similarities uh, in response to the data. But it's important to listen to the variety of perspectives people have because while they say the same things, they say them as it coming from different positions. The data gets the same response but the sense of hope is different in different cases. I think it's um, really important for government to be transparent and for us to actually show that we're aware of the disparities and we're aware that the evidence is there to help us improve our policies going forward. The government serves all citizens in the country and I think it's really important for us to do this to enable us to have a conversation that's open based on transparency in terms of the data and also creating trust um, across all members of society because that's really important, the relationship between the state and citizens. We've got loads and loads of great intel to make the website even better than it is at the moment to build on what we do for the next phase uh, where we'll be advising the Minister on how we do that. They want to see clear actions, uh, kind of, they want to make sure that everyone is accountable and that we um, monitor this going forward, that actually we're going to change things over at the medium term and knowing that quick fixes won't uh, necessarily uh, be enough. We're asking people uh, what has worked in their local area, how has that changed uh, life for the better for people of different ethnicities across the country. Have a look at the website, see what you think about uh, the facts and figures, what it means for you as a person, for your community. Contact us via the website at Ethnicity Facts and Figures.